Hi, I'm Congresswoman Debbie Dingell. Given the steep rise in anti-Semitism and racism, what will you do during your term to combat such hate and encourage bridge building between people of different backgrounds? You know, I'm very worried about the fear and the hatred I see dividing America right now. I think it's very important that we take on hate where we see it and bring people together to help them see and understand how much more we have in common than we do differences. I've organized and will keep organizing community conversations. After some very uh, bad things happened in our communities, I brought people of all backgrounds together to have a take on hate rally and conversations. But more importantly, I think right now, we need people who aren't afraid to lead in having uncomfortable conversations. We are letting other people create wedge issues instead of having the uncomfortable conversations about race in America. And you know, as someone who represents very proudly both the Jewish faith and those of Arab American background and Muslim faith, I see far more in common than that that's different. And unfortunately, both communities are being increasingly intact just because of their religion. Those that have not learned from history are doomed to repeat it. And right now, I think all of us have a responsibility to look what's happening in America, to stand up, as John Lewis taught us, when you see something, say something, and I am saying it loud and clear. I will stand up to what I'm seeing in this country. It's not who America is. United we stand, divided we fall, and there are too many people trying to divide us right now. The US-Israel relationship has become increasingly partisan over the last several years at many levels of government. Do you agree with this assessment and how do you think that this trend can be reversed? I think, well, I will say that I do believe that it has become more partisan. And I think that there are some that have tried to create that partisanship. I believe point blank in a two state solution for Israel. As someone who represents both the Jewish community and the Arab American Muslim community, I understand I sit down and I talk about the issues, not afraid to have tough discussions, but I think that they have become increasingly partisanized. And I, I've received hate from both sides that honestly has left me in tears, in just shaking, death threats. I will always fight because Israel has a right to exist. We have to find peace in the Mideast. We have to talk about the Palestinian issues. We have to talk about human rights. But I think, again, this is a very uncomfortable conversation and we need to put everyone in the room, have those conversations and keep trying to fight for peace. I don't want to use this as a hate issue between communities. We've got to find the way to find the solution to a two-state issue, which we were making progress on for many years. Politicians and the public have understandably been focusing their attention towards COVID-19 and the racial divides plaguing our country. Therefore, other issues such as the immigration crisis have been decreasingly in the public eye. How can we ensure during this difficult time, immigrants to this country, especially those imprisoned at the southern border, are not forgotten? I don't forget any of those issues any given day. And if you represent a district like the one that I do, nor do many people in my district forget those issues. We are having people that are being deported. 
the hate, the vitriolicness, the anger that we have seen in this country more in the last few years, which I think is, should be disturbing, worrying, we need to stand up against, is quite frankly more present, not less present in these COVID days. We are all human beings. Right now, we need to make sure that every human being has access to health care, that if they get sick, they can seek the treatment that they need, that they're not spreading it, and that we treat everybody as a human being. I'm hopeful these next few months are gonna be terribly, incredibly political partisan months. I am hoping that we will remember that every single human being is a human being. And I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that they're getting attention and not contributing to the community spread if they're sick, that they do get the medical treatment that they need. But that with a new president, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm working for a new president, that we will make comprehensive immigration reform, taking care of our dreamers and addressing a number of other issues. One of the first issues that we address, we have not addressed comprehension comprehensive immigration reform and the need for comprehensive immigration reform for too long. It's time to take it head on and deal with it. What is your number one priority while I'm in office? My number one priority while I'm in office is to keep working to help people, to make sure that every American has access to health care, that if you're sick, you can go to the doctor, to help people get jobs, to pay a decent living wage, that everyone has a place to live and that people have a safe and secure retirement. I'm working for the working men and women of this country to make sure they have basic human needs met and taken care of.